Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Quickly let me read this word sent to us from God's servant. The word for the hour. Declaring operation by all means. Dominion greetings to you in Jesus' name. Many may be wondering why this unending kingdom advancement operations in this church. As you may all be aware, every kingdom advancement operation in this church till date has always led to supernatural change of levels for all that believe and engage with them. Many have experienced supernatural change of levels. Many have experienced dramatic change of, from sickness to death, defeat to victory, failure to success, poverty to prosperity, and etc. Much more importantly, souls have been rescued from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light, and many children of devils are now established children of living God. This is what informs our insatiable prayer for souls to be saved in this church. As you all know, God wants all men to be saved, and many are yet to be saved. Multitude are in captivity in the kingdom of darkness. Many are on the verge of suicide. But why must the church, why must the saved be brought to church? For their preservation, sanctification, and access to the blessings of redemption. For their spiritual growth and development. But you may want to ask, what is in all this for me or for us? We enjoy divine health. We are empowered for triumphant living. We continue to prosper in all our ways and etc. However, Something to note about spiritual stewardship is that our reward must always meet us on duty. When serving God and the interior of his kingdom becomes a self-imposed necessity, necessity, new chapters open up to our lives supernaturally. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, operation by all means, scheduled to run for the next four weeks, that is, July 8th to August 4th, 2019, is hereby flagged up. Say big amen. May each one of us receive grace to bring souls into the kingdom and get them established in the faith by all means in the course of this operation in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, every one of us must honor Jesus with at least one established soul in this church in the course of this operation by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ, nothing shall hinder the assets of every one of us to our multiple change of levels as in the case of Joseph in this prophetic season in the name of Jesus Christ. Remain ever blessed. Jesus is Lord. Signed, Bishop David O. Oedipo. Hallelujah. Give just a beginning of praise. Like I said in the first service, it's important we understand that every exam time is a dual mood. Every exam time brings a dual mood. Dual mood is saying that there's mixed feelings. There's promotion ahead of you, but there's exam ahead of you. In the same way, everything that will change your level will place a demand on your, on your rest. Will place a cost on you. I'd like to encourage us all, let's be committed. This is the answers on Sunday, worship night. God spoke to me on this altar that God is changing levels of people in two dimensions, giving, launching them to the realms of what? Divine health and realms of what? I said that on Sunday night by the grace of God. By the time we came Monday morning, I mean Monday afternoon, I got a memo from Canaan saying that Throughout this week, our fasting is for prosperity. Just a confirmation. And on Sunday night, I told everyone that came for that worship evening, I said, ensure. When I was to pray for people, you know, God said, told me, no, 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 don't pray for people for prosperity. Pray for those who are oppressed. And I said, why? He said, prosperity requires places a demand on you. You are the one that, he said, prosperity is not by prayer. You must initiate an action. I said, okay, fine. Please, those who can watch that, please, if you are interested, make sure you sow a seed. Give a sacrifice. I'm not saying to, but give. On Monday, I gave my own to. And on Monday, I saw a change of levels. And so, I'd like you to understand that don't expect a change without initiating what you desire. Initiate a change to secure your desired change. So, don't just pray to be blessed. Initiate it with actions and God will change your levels. And for this winning agenda, tell yourself I must not be barren. In these four weeks, I must bring minimum four souls. It's not too much for God. As you do it, the Lord will reward you mightily. Say a proper amen. amen. Unlocking the supernatural. Part 1B. Now, before I go into the teaching by the grace of God, please in this service expect miracles, expect healings, expect signs and wonders. That lady's testimony is two in one testimony. 
She brought her brother here mad. There. It was a that extension. Mad. It was tied hands and legs. It took three guys to bundle him to this place. He was brought here mad. I mean mad. He was being tied there at the extension. But today, he's now free. That's the man's summary. To the glory of Jesus. If God is healing madness, your challenge is not as mad as that. They will not tie you down. And they will never tie you down. Yeah. Say a proper amen. Yeah. Because those whom they tie down today, they never knew they would tie them yesterday. I said they won't tie you down. Yeah. There might be one or two individuals here, devil's plans for you to be mad. But they are fair several days, and they will fail forever. Yeah. Madness is not your portion. Yeah. Now, second testimony. According to her, from the testimony, you know, play me, play me, you may not understand. The, the father was under a terrible attack. Terrible attack to the point whereby the father was seeing death, literally. You know, there are some challenges that you see that is as if you are crossing over. Very like, well, you start planning. So let me take off the house, take off this. That was a situation. But he brought the picture. You see, when people see challenge, they believe Jesus. Muslim or no Muslim, forget that one. He wants to be free. It was a picture I prayed over that growth disappeared. Health got restored. Saints, don't doubt what works. Don't doubt what works. It's the power of God. It's not me, it's God. But God can use anybody. Those are the, those are the, that's the summary of the two testimonies. Jesus set a prayer free from madness. He started coming to church. Jesus set the Muslim father free from demonic affliction that was equal to death. In the same way, whatever you came here with as a baggage, you are dropping in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic cockroach in your body, every demonic ant living in your body, every demonic snake living in your body is dropping out in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no animal living in the realm of the spirit practically living your body is going up with you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are dropping every animal out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. This service, you are dropping every negative thing off your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Unlocking the supernatural. Part 1B. I'd like you to take the first service teaching CD as God helps you. The supernatural is simply a product of our obedience of faith. The supernatural is simply a product of our obedience of faith. Obedience of faith. John, John chapter 2, verse 3 to 11. The Bible made us understand that there was you no know, marriage in the kingdom of Galilee and there was no wine. I just said on them, woman, what I have to do with thee? James, John 2, verse 3, and verse 4. My my hour is not yet come. His master unto his servant, whatever I tell you to do, do it. And there were set there six water pots after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three first kings apiece. Just said unto them, fill the water pot with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said unto them, draw out now beer to the or governor of the feast, and they bear it. And when the ruler of the feast attended the water, that was made wine. Water that was made wine. When? Ask me. When was it made wine? That's the question. Water that was made wine. There was no beauty there at that moment. No fermentation could have happened within a few seconds. Where is the enzyme that will convert it? But because of simple obedience, Pour water. Pour water into the jar. Take and go and give. There can't be fermentation. Where is it? Where is the substrate? Where is the inside? Where is it? There's nothing to work on. It's just water. But because of simple obedience, supernatural was being battered. Simple obedience. So 
the supernatural is a product of obedience of faith. Obey God, it will pay you. Obey God from His word, it will pay you. John chapter 9, verse 1 to 8. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man that was blind from his birth, and his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man has been blind from birth. Do you know how long this lady was saying that the father of her children have not come to see them? 14 years. But one night prayer, everything changed. 14 years. One night prayer, there was a change. You see, that's why the devil is not happy about anything that's good. There is always a reaction towards anything that is good. It's normal. 14 years of affliction. You know how traumatizing it could have been? Singly taking the responsibility of what two people are supposed to take. But just come for prayer. Just initiate one action. This man has been blind for since birth. And Jesus Christ said, Go and wash in Silo. Now, it doesn't make sense. Naturally speaking. You are telling a blind man to go and wash. How will he get there? But you see, it might not make human sense, but it makes common sense. And if you look at verse um, John chapter 9, verse 8, the, the Bible, uh, verse 7, and he said unto him, Go and wash in the pool of Silo, which is by interpretation sent. And he went his way therefore and washed and came seeing. The neighbors therefore and they which before had seen him that he was blind said, Is not this he that sat and begged? <laughs> After the service, they will be confused seeing you because your story is changing. Imagine somebody that was born blind that always sits to beg. I tell you, throughout these six months of this year, you will not borrow or beg. These six months, you will not borrow. You will not beg. You will not see shame. When God steps into your case, the story becomes, my case is different. When God steps into your case, this woman's daughter was to deliver by her oppression. One declaration changed this. Gosh, I fear God. She was to declare by her oppression. Just one declaration. What do you want? Self delivery is done. Doctor's report, nonsense. God's report established. I don't care what they said. This day, today, I decree every negative report concerning you. Is written in your favor. Yeah. Is told in your favor. Yeah. If you can just obey the word of God, you will see the wonders of God. If you can just obey the word of God, you will see God has no problem changing your story. He only has the problem obeying his instructions. We obey his instructions. Glory to God. Remember, we're talking about unlocking the unlocking the supernatural. And to unlock simply means you must have a key. Please get first service teaching. It's different from this teaching. In first service, we focus on the key of the word. The key of the word of God. The key of the word of God. And we made mention of dimensions of the world. But I will mention one dimension of the world that is important. It's the dimension of the revealed world. Get for service to get a continuation at the beginning. The revealed world. Until you have a revelation of the world, the Bible is just a baggage. You carry weight to church, you carry weight back home. The revelation in the world is what changes our position pattern. The revelation in the world 
the day I got to know that he took my infirmities. Ah. I said I didn't go to school. He took. Took means pastors. He took. He took. That took his only to my eyes. He himself took. Took. He took. Now, because of that revealed one. I said, God told me that I'm inside you like a mountain. It's a revealed one. He said, nothing. He said, no eruption can carry a mountain. He said, no wind, no flood. You can never hear that there was a flood in that carry mountain. He said, I'm the one, the mountain that makes a mountain a mountain. <laughs> I'm the one. He said, I'm inside you like a mountain. They hit you, they fall. You hit them, they crumble. Reviewed one. When God reveals himself to you, one million cannot change God, God's word. Please, go for the revealed one. When God opens your eyes to see, how come do you think our father Bishop Wedebo entered Kedaland? The den of witches, the echo of witches, in the night alone. He will put the driver at the gate, security at the gate, alone enter the jungle. Kabara, Kachika, no Gabasha. Uh -uh, that's not natural. It is because of access to depths, access to revelation. A place whereby when witches are driving past, I mean, when human beings are driving past in the night, they drive fast because they never can tell what can happen. A man now entered the place alone. We need access to the depth of God that will make us to be in charge of issues of life. From today, whatever used to molest you before will not molest you again in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall not molest you again in the name of Jesus Christ. 1 Samuel 3 21. And the Lord appeared again in Shiloh. And the Lord revealed himself. Ah, when God reveals himself to you, you become like a mountain. You are too confident. I, they that do know their God, when he reveals you, you are so crazy. I know my God. I know my God. I know. The way you will say it, they will get scared. This one is, ter is, is terrible. He withdraws. The revealed word showcases God inside you. The revealed word showcases God. Thereby, when you see HIV, HIV die now. He dies. Somebody came here last week. She came here with four years of power. And at the temple there, pray for her by the grace of God. He said, Go and check now. She went to check. Power shrank. Pray for her a second time. Power disappeared. After four years. By the mighty hand of God, I pray this morning that no matter how long you have been carrying any affliction, today an end has come. Yes. Today an end has finally come. Yes. In this service, I will look at um, another key, which is the key of faith. The key of faith. Faith is a force that processes signs and wonders into reality. Faith is a force that processes signs and wonders into reality. When you have the key of faith, you are on the journey to signs and wonders. Every time you see a man on the race of faith, his destination is signs and wonders. When you see a man on the race of faith, is about to hit signs and wonders. So faith is a force that processes signs and wonders into reality. Look at the scripture we read earlier on. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Okay? We shall do it. Pour water, they poured it. Take water, they took it. In the process of taking those steps, faith was generating signs. As we were pouring water, faith was turning water to wine. As we were taking water, faith was turning water to wine. As they took the water, faith is a process. It's a force that initiated a process that turns that that turns whatever you do as instructed to signs and wonders. Glory to God. From today. Your shame is over. Amen. Say every shame in my life is over. Every shame in my life is over. 
as I've said it, it is established. Faith puts believers in the command of the supernatural. It's a key. It puts every believer, any believer. Remember, you are what is the definition of a believer? A believer is someone who believes in God. Faith puts every believer in command of supernatural. Why? Mark 9.23 He says that He that can't believe All things are possible All Say all You can have an helicopter tomorrow Ah oh, pastor Pastor Don't believe it's your choice Me that I'm collecting 10,000 per month Forget God does not need your salary to change your level Mm-mm. I'm a testimonial in diverse dimensions. All things are possible. All things are possible. I remember some years ago. I said the year before. I said, ah, come on. My family, I'm always very, very busy. They've never traveled outside Africa. Ish. What can I do? I said, God, I want them to travel. I want them to go to UK. I said, okay, fine. I didn't have money in my account. I didn't have anything. But I've always told you, my physical account is not my account. My real account is in them. If you want to steal from me, you go to heaven first. If you succeed to come back, then go. And I told God, Lord, because I'm a tighter, heaven is my storehouse. When there is need, you will bring it. Now I said, God, how will I do it? I can tell you mysteriously, this I came out. My ticket was seen on my phone for four of us. Without, just by supernatural, I said, all things are possible. I saw it on my phone. I, I don't know how they buy tickets. I don't saw tickets. Simply by divine arrangement. Faith is a force that can produce any sign. Faith is a force that can, it can take through any process to produce any sign. It puts you in the command of supernatural. Matthew 15. Verse 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, my son. O Lord, that's from David. My daughter is greatly vexed with, with the devil. And he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. For she cried after us. But he answered and said, I'm not sent on the ship, not the of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat the crum- of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. It is unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. She believed that this is my bus stop. If I leave this place, I lose. If I stay here, I get it. Say anything, I won't go. She was confident that if I miss Jesus, I miss everything. Please understand, when you are in faith, you are in charge. When you are in faith, hear this? Our faith controls Jesus. Jesus, I can't give you this thing. He said, no. You can't give me what? I may not deserve it, but mercy can deliver it. I may not have a right for it, but you see, the crumbs, I can still partake of it. I know these crumbs can still make me old. Ah, ah. Jesus was compelled. Okay, take take the way you want it. Faith gives you the way you want it. It gives you the way you want it. So that's why when you are in faith, you are in command of the supernatural. Glory to God. The hand of God that commands the supernatural can only be brought to bear by faith. The hand of God that commands the supernatural can only be brought to bear by faith. Who has believed our report to whom the arm of the Lord is revealed? Who has believed our report to whom the arm of the Lord is revealed? Those who believe the Lord will always compel the hand of God. Those who believe the Lord. So when you are in faith, you commit the integrity of the hand of God. Everyone that believes God must see the hand of God. And the Bible says the hand of God doeth valiantly. 
John 14 verse 10. Believe thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me. The word I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwell in me, dwell the works. The hand of God dwell wonders. In this service, you will see the wonders of God. Yeah. But quickly, what is the worth of faith? What is faith worth? What is faith worth in the realm of supernatural? Number one, faith releases the power of God. Romans 1 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God. So when the faith is preached, when the faith is seen, the power of God is revealed. In the service, you will see the raw power of God. Yeah. Say a brighter amen. Yeah. Faith moves God into action and provokes divine intervention. Faith moves God. Everywhere God sees faith, God rushes them. Everywhere God sees faith, he runs there. Why? Faith is like a magnet to God. Faith attracts God. Hebrews 7 verse 6. Without faith, it's impossible to attract God. To please God. It's impossible to attract God. To please God. For he that will come to him must believe that he is. And is the rewarder of those who are, you know, diligently seeking. Who you believe is who you seek. The reason why some people go to our valley is because they believe in them. Some go to long bearded prophets, they believe in them. Some go to let me check, let me check, they believe in them. Who you believe is who you seek. Who those who diligently seek him, those who diligently believe him. So when we are in faith, we put God on the stage to carry out signs and wonders in our lives. Number three. What is the word of faith in the supernatural? It levels obstacles. When barriers are facing you, faith is the requirement. Mark 11, 23. It says, If thou shalt say unto this mountain, Be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe in whatsoever you say, you shall have whatsoever. Whatsoever is a blank check. One million enter my apps account. Has entered because you believe. I'm getting a miracle job in Absa tomorrow. It's happening. I didn't do interview, forget it. What you say supersedes what they say. What you say is as good as a proof of heaven. Whatsoever thou shall say, whatsoever. Please understand that there's no careless word in scriptures. Whatsoever simply means a blank check, open ended check. Anything you put is all is all going to confirm. Glory to God. Every obstacle to your progress is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Also, faith stops the devil from arousing your destiny. Ephesians 6 12. It says, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith we'll be able to quench. 6 16. I beg your pardon. Ephesians 6 16. It says, Taking the shield of faith. Where we we able to quench all the to quench means to stop, to put an end, to put an halt, all the fiery that fiery means full of tension, pressure. You know when they say fiery furnace, a furnace is hot, but a fiery one is dangerous. Fiery that manipulations are gimmicks of the devil. So when you are in faith, you are putting the devil under your feet. Faith puts the devil under your feet. Therefore, every devil arising and molesting your destiny, from today, their powers are paralyzed. Their powers are paralyzed. This second half of the year, your life shall be better. Your testimony shall be greater. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I'd like you to know that from today, we are winning all the way. Quickly, before we go into the special ministration, how do we activate our faith for the supernatural? How do you activate your faith for the supernatural? Number one, believe in God above all. Believe in God above all. Daniel 3, 16 to 18. Irrespective of what you face, believe in God. The Bible says that these three Hebrew men, women, and the guys were to be thrown today 
then no, I mean the fire for this. And the Bible says that they said they should multiply the fire by seven. <laughs> they said, Oh, you king, listen to us. In this matter, we are not careful to answer you. Our God, whom we believe, will deliver us. But should in case, if he does not deliver us, we will still not drown. I mean, if God is not, or God is, is still God. We born, we don't born, he's still God. I pass, I don't pass, he's still God. I have children, I don't have children, he's still God. When your faith is rigid, devil will bow. When your faith is unchanging, when he said, what are you here? Papa said, I follow in the Lord, show the book. He said, when the mama was having a health challenge, 27 nations, he traveled to minister. He said, he told God, whether you heal my wife or not, you are still my God. That is believing in God above all. Irrespective. I get job, I don't get job, I will serve God. I get husband, I don't get husband, I will serve God. Permit or not permit, God has permitted me here. I will permit myself. I say, you are just confident in God. But mind you, I'm not saying that you know how to permit, I'll permit you. But you are confident in God, irrespective of what they say. Today, whatever harassing you is subdued in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Number two, have no alternative. Have no alternative. Psalm 63, verse 8. My soul went down only upon God, for my expectation is for me. Psalm 62, verse 5. 62, verse 5. 62 verse 5 said, My soul, when thou only upon it, for my expectation is for me. Only, say only. Don't leave the church go and look at one baba and enter one. Ah, the way you enter is embarrassing. Your entry is a shame. When you want to enter, you bend. Can you see you are going down? They say, Use back to enter, back, back. No, no. Uh, ah, ah. Can't you see that your life is going back? They say, go and you have to buy a cow. Have I ever told you to buy a cow? Now, please understand. Those things they are telling you to do is a shame. I will have to do something. Do what again? After we do what Christ has done. Oh, if you go to San Coma after this, go. If you go to Upper List, or uh, one church, don't show that. They will, they, will, they will spray something on your face. It's a shame. Because you return with shame. I'm not cause it's the truth. Those that run after that God, their sorrow shall be multiplied. I have no alternative. If God cannot do it, let it remain undone. If God cannot help you, be helpless. If God cannot lead you, then be stagnated. But you can't be stagnated with God. Because the path of the just is a shining light that shall brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter to the perfect day. So, God as your only source and still dry up. You can't have God as your only source and still get dry up. You can't have God as your only source. So, make God your source. Not even man. Man will mess you up. Man can feel disappointed and leave you. Hear this? <laughs> your errors of today. They are not surprises to God. Your mistakes, they are not, er they are not surprises to God. He is the Alpha and Omega. He knew you would fail. He knew you would fall. That's why he's always dead before you fall. After you have fallen, he said, come, I'll fall. I will show you mercy. So make God depend on us. Before, they call him Alpha and Omega. He knows the day you fall. He knows you still rise. But a man wants to fall, they stigmatize you. Eleshe. Oloshi. They say no sense to you because they feel they are better. But God is the standard. So make him your only source. I have no alternative. Because it's only, it's only the mercy of God that can wash away your shame. Glory to God. Number three. Capitalize on the past wonders to generate others. Capitalize on the past wonders. Everybody in this service have something you have seen as a wonder in time past. At one time or the other. 4 Samuel chapter 17, verse 34. The Bible says that he said, the same way he gave me this beer, 
this lion and I killed it. I will kill this one too. Capitalize on how God rescue from death. Capitalize on how you flew and no crash. Capitalize on how you got a job, even though you lost it, but you got it. Capitalize on how you escape narrow death. Capitalize on it and say, Father, if you have done it before, you do it again. Glory to God. Number four, locate similar testimonies and do same. Locate similar testimony and do what the person did. Locate similar testimony and do the same thing the person did. Somebody told me I thought for seven years. I said, eh? Seven years. Okay, we are together. I step into it. I'm still in it. Because I heard somebody say it, I plug into it. Locate someone's testimony. Matthew chapter 9, verse 21 to 22. The Bible says that um, the woman said in her heart, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. And she did, and she was made over. Matthew 14, 35, 36. The Bible says, when the angels was passing by, many that had, they ran that they may but touch his garment. And as many that touched his garment, they were made perfectly whole. Matthew 9, 21 and 22. Matthew 14, 35 and 36. So, locate testimonies of the same and plug into the same. Do the same thing they did. Do the same thing. You have the same testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number five. After this, you come to the third Avoid doubt. Matthew 14, 28. When Peter said doubting, he started sinking. The Bible says, he said, if it's you, Jesus, bid me to come. And as he stepped into the water, he started sinking. I mean, he walked. But when he saw the wind was boisterous, I'm a, I'm a water. The, the knowledge of carnality setting. Once you start doubting, carnality are setting. Once you start allowing flesh, spirit will be taken off. But when the spirit is in charge, flesh is suspended. Suspend your brain and make the gain in the Holy Ghost. Suspend your brain. Let, when you want to walk in faith, don't use your brain. Your brain is an enemy of the spirit. It takes the Holy Ghost. I remember when I was in school, I used to do, go for a rural gate. One day, we we'll go for evangelism, and you know, I entered a, a, a muddy water. First thing that came to my mind was equal. I said, hey, I said, Jesus, elephantiasis. I just remember all those diseases in water. Because of the knowledge of microbiology, I was maybe A. Hey, I remember all those animals, all those uh, microorganisms that they went on my leg. There was a contention. Because flesh and the spirit was contented. Flesh was saying that, ah. Escherichia coli, Streptococcus aureus. You know, I was just making me all these organisms. He said, Jesus. But in my spirit, he said, No, I can't. Now, don't allow the devil to manipulate your mind against the hand of God. Don't allow the devil to manipulate your mind against the hand of God. And in this service, you will see the raw power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And, um, Continue the rest in third service, but mind you, in this service, you are getting healed on the spot. You are getting free on the spot. There shall be instant healing and deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Be on your feet right now and um, write out the things that you want God to put as enough, enough in your life. Take a little sheet of paper and write the things that you want God to put and enter in your life. A little sheet of paper. But if you are here and I'd like to pray with you. Please be seated one minute. Be seated one minute. Why are you right? Look at me, everybody, while you are writing. It's possible. Just write and be looking. Now, I'd like you to know that you're sure. Until you are saved by Jesus, you are not saved in the world. Maybe you are here, you think you have friends that can protect you. You have friends that can help you. You have parents that can help you. Woe unto you in the name of flesh. Shame is looming. Come to Jesus. That demonized girl said that day, but she's free now. She said, they enter men to make them misbehave. That's why you are here, you are still drinking and you are addicted. You think it's you, it's not you. A devil is at work. An assigned demon is at work. 
come to Christ and say, Jesus, free me. Set me free. You are here. You still have sleeps in the dreams that they are manipulating you. They are taking your body parts. You are sleeping with human beings in dream. I mean, in the dream. Devil is you need Jesus. You are still here. You are you are having you know nightmares upon nightmares. It's because there's tendency. You have a property with the devil. And he always comes for his property. You need Jesus. Maybe you are here, you live a life that is so reckless. Money comes because devil, you and devil, you are in partnership. He must take his portion. And that's why money doesn't stay. You can't be with Jesus and lose. But when you are with devil, you are bound to lose. I'd like you to know this opportunity comes to you right now. This is your chance for your change of levels.